Well, I just wanted to mention this. <laughs> Making his first public appearance since June, Apple CEO Steve Jobs began his Let's Rock event in San Francisco on the defensive about his much rumored health, but he quickly got down to business. We're introducing iTunes 8, the next major release of iTunes. iTunes 8 now offers high-definition TV shows, NBC programming, and a new feature called the Genius Button. Genius is pretty cool. Let's face it, Apple's got, what, 73% of the market already? I mean, adding little features like this just keeps people on their, on their system. The crowd shared the loudest for the hardware updates to the iPod Nano and Touch. It's really, really beautiful. I think with the new colors and some of the new features on the Nano, that that will still be the uh, primary selling device in their arsenal. And you can now put 30,000 songs in your pocket. So it's pretty amazing. It's going to be interesting to see if the iPod Touch really does become the primary iPod in Apple's lineup. That's what they would like that to do because it's more expensive, they make more money on it, and it's, it's frankly more interesting. You know, it's, it's a little computer. If I had that much music, I would be really psyched on it, I think. I like to manage it on my Mac. It's no coincidence Apple is releasing these upgrades in time for the holiday shopping season to hopefully add to the 160 million iPods already sold. After Steve Jobs made his iPod hardware announcements, he spent less than a minute discussing the iPhone 2.1 software update, which he said should correct a lot of major bugs, including all those dropped calls. I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com.